Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together. It's Operation Give Jesus Your 100%. In 2023, beloved, the door of the ark is closing. The honors lies on individuals, beloved. If you want to be part of the ark, beloved, you have to run for your life. Our Father is wrapping up. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Praise the name of the Lord. We serve a powerful God, beloved, the great I am, the one and only risen King. In him are hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved. I'm going to share with you this message. Our Father showed me this message up to three times. He showed me a while ago, and he showed me again recently, twice, about hugging. That he does not want us to hug opposite sex, beloved. I want to read the word of God from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10. I will read verse 13. The word of God says, there hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to men. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. Praise the name of the Lord, beloved. The word of God is powerful. Our Father will not allow us to be tempted more than we can handle. And when we are tempted, he always provides a way of escape. It is up to us. To take that way and run and flee from temptation. Paul was advising the church in Corinth. He said, therefore, my brethren, flee. Beloved, our father has revealed that he does not want us to be hugging each other, you know, like a brother hugging a sister or a sister hugging a brother. At first, I just take it that, okay, Father is correcting me. It's not something that I was planning to share. I remember I discussed it with one of our sisters sometimes last year. He showed me again, and twice when he showed me, I was in the church and I knew that he's showing me that I must come and share with his children. I was about to hug a brother in the church and then the brother gave me an elbow instead. You know, like how the, the hugging of uh, COVID time when they will bring the elbow. Yeah. Then I said, oh, yes, we are not supposed to hug our brothers, our brethren in the Lord. And again, he reminded me, I said, Father, I will share this message. I have heard you. No hugging. You cannot meet your colleague or your friend who is opposite sex and hug them. Because we do not know what is going on in their minds. Only God knows, beloved. He knows why he does not want us to hug each other. We know, beloved, that hugging is cozy. When you are hugging someone, your body and his body or her body and your body, 
you know, they are so close together. You are embracing each other. I'm not saying you must not hug each other as family members or as sisters. But he showed me when it was brethren, opposite sex. People who are not family members. And family members, beloved, I'm talking close family members. I'm not talking your distant uncles or, you know, a father can hug a daughter. You know what I'm saying? That let us shun away, beloved, from hugging. We can shake hands, you know, whichever gesture that we want to do, but let us not embrace each other. And a hug, you know that hug, it's really cozy. It's too close for comfort. Praise the name of the Lord. So beloved, that's it for this message. I'm not even going to go further. It is simple and straightforward. Our Father does not want us to hug each other as brothers and sisters in the Lord or just any person outside there that you know. Don't hug them. Greet them. Talk with them. Laugh with them. But don't embrace them. Like I said, in a vision, I we just got our elbows touched and then that was it. So that's it for this message. I love you all. Stay blessed as we continue to learn. Bye-bye.